That's okay. All right, so game uh, three of Masters versus Jason. Justin, damn it, sorry. All right, so Astro Militarum, what was it? Two blobs full of blast cannons. Um, knights, dude. Fast and punishes. Some weapons. Uh, Hydra. Here's me. I have deployed crazily. I don't know. And I've got my um, corpse crew coming in reserve. Alrighty, so playing um, Astro Militarium with a knight. And this was actually a really, really fun game. And this is, this is, it epitomizes um, the, my, my day in that there is no game where. It was just, you know, a brutal slaying one way or the other. So my army is not insanely strong where if I get first turn, I'm going to just completely destroy you. And it's not insanely weak where if you get first turn, you're going to completely destroy me. Even though in game one, Hayden tried his absolute best. <laughs> so, um, this, it was a fun game because you actually had to think about where the objectives were, what the mission was, what the targets, what were the primary targets, and a little bit of good luck on both sides and some bad luck on both sides meant that it was very close all the way to the end. Um, so J uh, Justin's Knight, yes, Justin's, so I just saw the intro. Um, he had quite a good luck, like some really good luck on his invulnerable shield thing. Um, so the way to beat a knight, like a knight's shield with lances and stuff like that, um, is to, just, and you'll see in a second, go on all sides. So I've actually, I go completely surrounded, I've got blasters on every side of his um, knight. And I have to make him pick. He picks one side. Then my, I do my blasters without that side first, hoping you know to get some really good shots. So you can see I'm fully surrounding him. He has to decide, you know, which side to shield. And I'm hoping to kill this knight right now. If I do, I'm, I'm in really good shape. I also deep strike my Kronos and Talos at the back. Uh, I'll, unfortunately, I don't actually get to see it because it's just at the top of the screen and. Um, Justin does a, some really, really, really good stuff up there, and I'll, I'll just talk about what happens. Um, anyway, really unlucky with the Knights. Um, he gets down to three hull points, um, and that's it. And by the end of the game, um, this is a little spoiler, but at the end of the game, he he gets down to one. He, insane saving. I think I, like, I caused like, you know, four or five glancing hits or, or penetrating hits, and one would get through. So really, really good saves there. Um, and the knight then just starts chomping into my army, killing at least two things per turn. Um, at the back, um, I put my Kronos and Talos and Homunculi group um, in the, a little tiny corner, um, surrounded by his models, because I'm hoping to you know flame a whole bunch of dudes um, and then cause a lot of havoc in the back there. Now, a little thing about tank shock, which I didn't, I, I knew but I didn't think about, was you can tank shock, though, you know, a Kronos, for example, and because I'm fully surrounded, you can't actually move, like, you can't, in my mind, I thought you could, but then we read through the rules and we asked Danny and, uh, so the TO, and it's, you can't really go through the, the tank that's, that's tank shocking you to go on the other side, if, if they're kind of like just stopping halfway into you. Um, so, unless you kill it via, you know, like a death or glory attack, you die. And it was a really, really clever maneuver. So, you know, he goes tank shock, he, he tank shocks and stops, you know, an inch into my Kronos and says, yep, it's dead unless it kills me or stops me via death or glory. I go, crap, okay. And now here's my good luck, death or glory, six explode. <laughs> so I kill his Hydra, and then he tries again, exact same maneuver with um, one of his Wivens, or Wivens, or however you pronounce it, and I get, oh, against a Talos. And again, death or glory, six explode, 
Thank you very much. Um, so I, I get very lucky in the back there um, with <laughs> not just getting instantly killed, but I'm getting really unlucky, or he's getting really lucky with this knight. Um, because I was hoping to kill it and then switch to Pask's unit, but because I'm just dumping all the shots in, <coughs> sorry, into this knight, the Pask, I, I don't do anything to Pask at all, uh, which is really, really unfortunate. Uh, my Medusas are doing work, so they kill, I think they kill like 15 dudes, which is really, really cool. Um, and uh, Justin does a really nice maneuver in trying to do a lot of damage to the Talos unit, so they go, um, what's it, it's the Psychic Power, which gives you Rending, um, whatever that Psychic Power is, is one of the um, Divination ones, and then you give him Monster Hunter um, Order, and that's brutal, because every six, you know, I'm just doing Fear No Pain or Cover, um, so eventually the squad in the back dies, um, he contests, well, I, I, I've tried to contest, but he owns it because his objective is secured. Um, and he's got his two objectives, plus one on the side, to my two. Uh, so another win um, to my opponent. Uh, but a really fun game, because it was always in it with just luck both ways.